asshole for ruining my sister's wedding by refusing to cover up my scars and birthmark? I have a pretty big birthmark and some burn scars on the left side of my face from an accident when I was little. I've learned to love them as they're just part of who I am. And I live a normal life. My sister's getting married next month and dropped this bomb on me yesterday. She wants me to get professional stage makeup done to completely cover my birthmark and scars for her wedding because, in her words, the photos need to be perfect and you'll ruin them looking like that. She even said I'm being inconsiderate and lame loser by not agreeing since it's her special day. I'm supposed to be her maid of honor. I've helped with literally everything, spent a ton on the bachelorette party, and even learned how to bustle her ridiculous dress. But apparently my face is too ugly for her perfect wedding pics. When I said no, she started crying and called our mom. Mom says I should just do this one thing for my sister and that I'm being difficult. My sister's now threatening to replace me in the wedding party with our cousin if I don't agree. I told her fine, get the cousin. I'm not covering up who I am for anyone's photos. Now half the family is blowing up my phone saying I'm selfish and trying to make the wedding about me. Like, am I going crazy here? I've never hidden my face and I'm not starting now. Not even for my sister's perfect wedding. Update one. Wow, didn't expect all this to explode like it did. The family's group chat has become a war zone. My sister actually posted a poll asking if she was in the right for wanting me to keep things low key for her wedding. It got real messy real fast because a bunch of relatives who didn't even know the full story started chiming in. Apparently my great aunt Linda thinks my sister's right and I should just powder over my face so no one gets the wrong idea about our family. What does that even mean? It gets better. My sister has now hired a friend from college as her wedding aesthetic advisor, whose first job is to find ways to subtly camouflage me in all the wedding photos if I refuse the makeup. This advisor sent me a long email with tasteful suggestions on how I could stand at an angle or wear a decorative veil like I'm some kind of moody gothic maid of honor. At this point, it's not even about the makeup or the wedding. It's the sheer absurdity. I told her if she's willing to go this far, she can keep her perfect wedding without me in it and I'll save myself the trip. Cue meltdown. She said I'm being selfish and ruining her last chance to be happy before adulthood. If I hear one more complaint, I'm going to show up dressed as a mime just to mess with her. Update two. Well, it's official. I've been demoted. My sister sent a formal email. Yes, really. Informing me that my services as maid of honor are no longer required due to artistic differences. She's now given the role to our 15 year old cousin who's apparently thrilled to step up. Good for her. Now, here's where it gets even more absurd. My sister asked if I could still attend, but maybe in a seat further back. Yes, that's right. She wants me at the wedding, but kindly requests that I wear a large hat or just something that will draw less attention. So the spotlight stays on her. She even offered to pay for a custom wide brimmed hat from some bridal shop to make sure it was tasteful but effective. I laughed out loud and told her I'd think about it. As of now, I've RSVP'd no to the wedding and am planning a solo spa day on her big day. The family, meanwhile, has gone bonkers. Now they're accusing me of turning my back on family over a trivial thing. My mom left me a 10 minute voicemail crying about how she'll be embarrassed in front of the neighbors if I don't show up.